What's the deal, my people? You know it is Don Tony Teflon, and I'm back at you with another one. And Game of Thrones has released some new pitches, so let's break them down. <laughs> All right, so the first picture we see is the beautiful Queen Cersei, and she has Jamie Lannister on her side, and we see her sitting on the Iron Throne. Now, I do believe that this would be early in the season because I can't believe that Cersei and Jamie will still be together by the end of this season because Cersei definitely has to hook up with Euron Greyjoy, and I just can't see that going down if Jamie Lannister is there. We know the man is mad jealous. We've seen it go down with Edmund Tully. I'll send for your baby boy. And I'll launch him into River Run with a catapult. Because you don't matter to me, Lord Edmund. Your son doesn't matter to me. The people in the castle don't matter to me. Only Cersei. So, that being said, I do believe that this is early on. We still see Jamie Lannister rocking his father's armor and Cersei in that beautiful, beautiful uh, costume she has. And I think out of all the costumes, that uh, Cersei Lannister's costume is the best that I've seen this far in Season 7. And I do predict that Cersei Lannister will cut herself on the Iron Throne this season. Next picture we see is Liana Mormont, and this kind of looks like a picture from last year. We got Peter Baelish in the background, and we got her around the Lords. I'm going to assume that this is a brand new picture, but it really does look like a picture from last year. And this guy in the background, he reminds me of Tank Abbott, that uh, old UFC fighter. But yeah, we see Liana Mormont, and maybe she plays a more prominent role this season. I hope so, because I think Liana Mormont was the best thing about last season or what should I say this the best little surprise out of everything last season Liana Mormont was definitely that your son was butchered at the Red Wedding Lord Mandley but you refused the call you swore allegiance to House Stark Lord Glover but in their hour of greatest need you refused the call and you, Lord Kerwin, your father was skinned alive by Ramsay Bolton. Still, you refused the call. That being said, obviously this is in the north. And Peter Bale is still in the north. I would have thought he would have returned to the Vale by now. But no, he's still in there. And we can see someone all to the left, Liana. I don't know if this is like a maester's type chain or something like that. Or some type of sword handle. You know, I, I'm good at a lot of things. But I do get a lot of these pictures wrong sometimes. Uh, you know, but my eyes ain't what they used to be, people. But yeah, that, that's what I really think about this picture. I really hope something terrible does not happen to her. Because I think if something tragic is going to happen to any character that would be shocking it would be her and i would be devastated even though she's a new character i would be devastated if they killed this little girl so please don't kill this girl i can't take any more little girl killings I i'm done with it please don't kill little girls game of thrones please all right the next picture we see is sir Dabo seaworks and it could be the same picture that we just seen it could be the exact Dabo taking court or holding court and it looks like john is not there because we see an empty chair next to davos so it's possible that he stayed behind for a certain situation and john snow has gone off somewhere and he's holding down court it could be liana mormont could be the other lords there davos could be in charge of that as i've said before you've heard me say it a million times i will say it again i was the only one to say this davos is just filling in with John because Stannis is not there. Jon Snow has all of Stannis Baratheon's parts. So this could possibly be why we have Davos here because Davos in the books most likely could be doing this for Stannis at Winterfell when Stannis does take Winterfell in the books. And I think that this is kind of proof that Stannis will take Winterfell in the books, this whole situation with Davos holding court. Because Stannis could be off because we know that Stannis' plan was to get the Mandalays 
and use White Hand Harbor as a base of operations. So it could be a situation going on like that, but obviously we wouldn't have White Harbor being used as the base of operations. Quite possibly it could be John returning to Dragonstone or something, situation like that, going to see Daenerys or something like that while Davos is holding it down here in Winterfell. Next picture we see is Samuel Tarly and Gilly. Gilly of the Lily Flower. And we see Gilly reading. And this is what Shabreen Baratheon is the one who taught her how to read. Which is very cute and very good. This makes me sad. Talking about little girls. Shireen Baratheon. This is terrible. But we see Gilly reading. And it looks like she's learned how to read very well right now. Sam is in his studies. And somehow Sam has gotten her in the Citadel. I mean Sam's got this ability. I don't know how he does it, but he gets chicks to be where chicks aren't supposed to be. The form gave me strict orders to not open the gate. Oh, Pip, open the fucking gate! And now he's got Gilly over here in the Citadel. It's supposed to be no chicks, but Sam has got that gift of gab to key. He, he ain't letting that girl go. We do not see the baby in this picture, but I'm going to say the baby cannot be still far behind. And I'm guarantee you that that baby ain't grown up yet. I guarantee you that that baby is still the same waterhead baby that we've seen before. It's going to be the same age or maybe a different baby used this time, but that baby is not going to be grown up whatsoever. I guarantee it. I wish I could enlarge this and see the actual words in this letter. I will try to do that, but I just can't see it right now. But maybe I'll be able to zoom in on it later and see if I could see these words in this letter. And I have put the zoom on the letter and still, it's still, I, I can't make that out, people. I just can't do it. So maybe someone else, I'm sure someone else who could read that type of stuff will be able to do that. But, you know, Don just can't, can't make that out. The next picture we see, we see Mira pulling Bran in the snow. So I'm going to say that they're still beyond the wall. And I don't know why they're still beyond the wall. You would think they would have reached the wall by now. And this goes back. To Benjamin's busted ass not giving his nephew the horse. I mean, this is an undead Benjamin. What do you need a horse for? But he pulled his little ass off that horse very quick. And this goes back to that. You know, now we got Mary, got no hold up, and now we just got Mira dragging his ass around. I mean, damn, what what a what a backbreaking job this chick's got. But you know, she must really believe in the cause. It looks like winter has definitely come in this picture. It is very deep, this snow. I mean, it's like a virtual whiteout back there. We can't see anything. So hopefully, for Mary's back sake, this is them approaching the wall. We can see her feet are pretty deep in that snow. You know, you can't see her feet whatsoever. It looks like it's past her ankles. So, you know, hopefully she has made it to the wall. <laughs> So she doesn't have to keep dragging this dude around, man. Cause it, he, this, this is a big kid. This is not like, you know, a little dude, man. This is a big dude right here. You know what I mean? He grew the, out of all the, the Stark siblings. I think he grew the most out of all of them, you know. Well, Surfrey Turner, she shot up too, like a root, but like a weed. But now, you know, he definitely grew. And, uh, that's what I think this is. I think it's them hopefully approaching the wall. Thank God for the mirror. Next picture we see oh, here, we see neck. that Torment is reunited my with Brienne, and he still has the hots for her. Now, I know people want to see this go down, but I have told you once, I will tell you again, Brienne likes them pretty boys. Renly is a pretty boy she likes. Jamie Lannister, pretty boy she likes. She don't like these rugged dudes. That's not a type of guy, but this man, he wants to climb that oak tree. And I think this is more fan service than anything else. I think people, they enjoyed it so much. They got a good reaction. Dan and Dave, we know Dan and Dave's gotten some bad reactions before. But they got a good reaction for this. So I think this is strictly fan You want a good girl, but you need a bad pussy service and i don't think it's gonna go that far that they're actually going to do something because she would definitely manhandle him i mean you know that's what they want you to believe but brienne is really a delicate flower when it comes to like situations like that you know what i mean i don't think that she's some hardcore chick getting in there and throwing it around and throwing you down and jumping on top of you and showing you what it is i guarantee she's a delicate little flower when it comes to a situation of betting and stuff like that you know the tony teflon and don's motto we are all black when the lights go out
Next, we see Littlefinger in Winterfell with Sansa. Sophie Turner looking regal. And this could be a situation where she looks a little pissed off. Maybe she's mad that Davos is holding it down. Maybe she feels that she should be the one holding it down. And maybe this is Littlefinger putting that in her head at this particular time. And saying, hey, look it down there. You see, this Winterfell should be yours. But it's not. It should be yours. Look at Davos. Your brother's not here. You can take it right now. It could be a situation like that. You know what I mean? But who knows? That's what I would lean to if I had to pick one thing. It's definitely there in Winterfell. And um, we'll see if they get back to the Vale this season. I hope they do get back to the Vale. Uh, but uh, we will see if they actually make it there. The next picture we see is a bundle up. Sandor Clegane the Hound. And it seems like he's trying to go somewhere in the north. And I think this is most likely him making his way to Winterfell. We see troops surrounding him. I can't really make out what troops they are. I would think that everyone is definitely loyal to Jon Snow. It seems that the guy in the background may have some wolves connected to his uh costume and stuff. So maybe this is the Hound making his way to Jon Snow. We also see someone that he is, this is a party. It's not him by himself because there's a rider in front of him. And I think that that person is with him. So it most likely is the Hound making his way to Winterfell in this picture. And it's snowing there as we can see. He looks cold. But you know the man don't like fire so it's probably good for him. Next. And this is probably one of the most telling pictures we see. No doubt about it. Jon Snow in the crypts of Winterfell looking at the statue of his mother. No doubt that that this is what this is. So I'm going to assume that this is later on in the season that he's looking at this statue. He has been told that this is his mother and he's looking at the statue knowing this is his mother. And I think that this is definitely he's going into the crypt. Now, will he go into the actual crypt itself and see what's inside there? I don't know if he's doing it this season, but he's definitely going to do it. And when he does, I'm telling you that the sword is there, Dawn. And that is what he's going to pull out there. He's going to get Dawn. It's going to be in there. I wish his Rhaegar's harp is there. I had predicted that a long time ago. I wish it was there, but maybe they show it. Maybe not. If he's here and this is going down... I really truly believe that somehow Bran has gotten to him. And Bran doesn't need to reach him physically. Bran can visit him in his dreams. It could have been Bran sending him a dream from the wall that made Jon go down to the crypts of Winterfell. It could be a situation like that going on. I think that would be better and more realistic than Bran actually making it all the way down the Winterfell. Because come on, the dude ain't made it to the wall yet. You know what I mean? And if he ain't made it to the wall yet, how is he going to get the goddamn Winterfell with Mira pulling his ass? And, you know, and he don't have that saddle. So I have no idea how that's going to happen. Not whatsoever. But this is definitely Jon Snow looking at Lyanna's statue in the crypts of Winterfell. Next, we see a picture of Arya Stark. We didn't get a lot of pictures of Arya Stark. But the other picture we got of her, she was dressed a little bit better than she's dressed here. I don't know where she's at. I don't know what she's leaning on. I, I cannot tell what this thing is in front of her that she's leaning on. You know, to me, I don't even want to say it. I know it ain't the situation, but it is, you know, it could be. It looks like a pirate, but I'm always wrong on, <laughs> on these things. So, but I doubt that she's in a situation where she's going to get burned. I'm just, I'm scared for little girls. Man. <laughs> I am scared for these little girls of Game of Thrones, but. Who knows if Arya is in Faceless Man disguise right now? Who knows how they're going to play it? Are they going to play it like they did before and just have a whole new character play it and then have her pull it off? Or are they going to have Arya like this look like herself and have her in a different outfit and have her play the Faceless Man part? We don't know how they're going to do it this season. Can't tell who that in the background. Maybe she is in Winterfell at this time. She has made it all the way back there. Hopefully she has. But we shall see. But, you know, she looks a little concerned. She looks like she's looking up, looking up into uh, what I'm facing the screen. So that would be my right facing the screen, her left, her looking at you. It looks like she's her eyes are moved towards that direction. What she could be looking at, I have no idea. But I am happy to see Arya. 
Next, we see Daenerys Targaryen Stormborn, and we see her in her, and this is a nice outfit you got. It's got it's trimmed with red. It looks kind of blackish, grayish, you know, kind of blood ravenish cover, colors if you look at it from the books. And she's got the dragon pendant hooking up a little, the little chain going across her chest. Great. I don't know. I don't know who these people's tailors are. I don't. I have no idea. I mean, I know Sansa is the one doing it for the people in the north, but I don't know who her tailor is. But God damn it, they do a good ass job. They do a damn good ass job for everything they're going through. They get some fucking outfits. I mean, I don't know what they got going on there. You know what I mean? Good with that situation, but they got something. You know what I mean? Something, something, something. And I appreciate it. But she looks concerned. It looks like she's greeting someone. This could be possibly her meeting Jon Snow. You can't see who's in the background standing there behind her. But it does look like a male figure that's standing there behind her. It's too tall to be Tyrion, obviously. Can't tell who that is. But there's definitely a man standing behind her. And it looks like she's greeting someone. She has some type of concern. That could be Mormont back there. That could be Gior. That, that 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 could be. I don't know who that is. I have no idea, but it could be him standing back there, cured from grayscale. And if you don't know how he's gonna get cured, please take a look at my video. Samuel Tarly will cure grayscale. <laughs> but it looks like she could be greeting someone. She does look a little not concerned, but she's got the hands folded in the folded position. I doubt she's praying or anything like that. Looks like she's greeting somebody. Now we see Varys in, you know, a very warm, warm, warm uh, uh, costume here. I've never seen him wearing anything this warm. And I don't think they're doing how Varys is in the books. Now, in the books, Varys is a master of disguise. He is, uh, dresses up as this as a jailer, and Ned Stark has no idea that he's the jailer. In the show, we've seen him. He has no disguise. He just had a hat on. It's no disguise. It's no disguise. It's just a hat, as Johnny Cochran would say. Cap, I'm gonna put this knit cap on. And you've been seeing me for a year. If I put this knit cap on, who am I? I'm still Johnny Cochran with a knit cap. And if you look at O.J. Simpson over there, and he has a rather large head. You know, so we, I like the outfit with Varys. He always has something to hide his hands. You know, every outfit they give him, they give him something to hide his hands in the front. You know, I think that's the theme with him. I think it works for him. And he looks concerned here. Looking off to the left could be the same situation as Daenerys is in. And it does look like it's... You know, that, that that's who could be in the background of Daenerys. It could be Varys that's standing back there because the pillar in the back kind of looks like what it was in the back of Daenerys. Uh, so that could be Varys standing behind Daenerys when we see this. That could be him just enlarged. And they definitely, he's definitely got his eyes towards someone the same way Daenerys would have her eyes towards the person. So it looks like it's possible that it's him behind her and she is greeting somebody at this time. So we'll see. But he looks very skeptical. Now, I just did a video. Will, will, uh, Varys turn on Daenerys? And from the look at this picture, check out my video, folks. Check out this, my video. Look at this man's face. Next, we see the most beautiful woman in the whole show, Game of Thrones, according to Tony Teflon, the Don. And she looks like she is at Dragonstone on top of some bandaments. And I just like looking at her. You know, she she can make grow, Grey Worm grow a dick. She can make, you know, that that that's how good looking this chick is, boy. Mm, mm. Mm, sexy woman you are. Not much I can say about this picture, but I just enjoy looking at it. <laughs> All right. Next picture we see Tyrion with the hand of the queen pinned on him. And obviously they got soldiers behind him, the Unsullied. So they are greeting someone off the beach at this particular time. That is what's going on. Most likely Jon Snow is arriving at Dragonstone in this picture. Not much we can say in this picture. You know, Peter, Peter Dinklage is Peter Dinklage, plays a great Tyrion, but obviously they do not play him as mean as he is in the books. And that's basically all the pictures, my people, that I see here. I think it's a good showing of pictures. And, uh, you know, that's how you know how big Game of Thrones is. When they can show you pictures and people get excited as we do for this. I love the show. I'm looking forward to this season. 
Please, if you have not seen it, I have a new podcast with Moji called The Review Champs. And I know it's not going to get a lot of views on YouTube. I'm not expecting it to. But if you're into, you know, podcasts and you want to take Teflon TV on the road with you in your car, it's something good to listen to. And it's a lot of other topics that aren't Game of Thrones related. But we will do some Game of Thrones stuff. So, if you like the way I do this, please thumbs up this. Please spread this across the realm. And please subscribe. And until next time, you know who it is. Peace! And stay sexy. Check. I will not eat out. Down to the tap line, OG. I will not eat out. I will not be out. You check.